although China's 003 aircraft carrier launch to now have more than a year in such development, we also have more expectations. In the initial manufacture of 003 aircraft carrier, when we have been discussing, it will not be China's first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, because at that time Linglong-1 is also in the same period of time in the R&D. The carrier is a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, but the final unveiling let some disappointment because China's 003 aircraft carrier is still a conventional aircraft carrier, but it is still a conventionally-powered aircraft carrier. Such a period of research and development makes everyone think that China's 003 aircraft carrier should be nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, but the final debut but let everyone disappointed, because China's 003 aircraft carrier is still a conventional power carrier. The reason why we feel more gratified is that its various aspects of the data and ability to reflect, in fact, and the United States nuclear-powered aircraft carriers to do a comparison, it is because of such a comparison, only to let everyone think about why China cannot do some better research and development, directly made activities immediately aircraft carrier it. In fact, want to have this aspect of the research and development needs is more technical support. In the manufacture of aircraft carriers China already has a better ability, but in the use of the activity of the force is difficult to do some of these standards, which is why China's nuclear-powered aircraft carriers cannot be a step in the reason. But many people feel that China already has nuclear submarines, so why not apply the nuclear reaction technology of nuclear submarines directly to aircraft carriers? Regarding such a model, if we follow this logic to countdown then we think it is possible, but in the process of practice, we have a previous experience. France had a submarine was directly used in the nuclear reactor of the nuclear submarine, and in the initial use of the effect is indeed better. But after everyone found its biggest flaw, that is, Every time after the use of back to need to carry out a relatively long time after the repair and deployment, which means that the damage is more. In such a mode is also very difficult to have the next development. It is because of this kind of previous experience, China did not do that one step research and development in the activities of the carrier. After all, it brings too much impact. If you want to have a better development, it is impossible to choose this kind of overnight mode. And in the overall activities and carriers, China has one of the most difficult to break through the direction of development, that is, lies in some of the applications of nuclear reactors. Nuclear reactors can give nuclear-powered aircraft carriers, as well as nuclear submarines to provide more advantages, but the premise is that it can do the development of safety. In the nuclear-powered carriers provide the manufacture of such a nuclear reactor, has a pneumatic type and cold pressure type, and in order to have better development of the majority of them are for better development. Most of the nuclear reactors are of the cold pressure type, but the cold pressure type also means that there are more technical requirements. Such development is technically difficult for modern China, which is why China's development of aircraft carriers is still flawed. Regarding the development of aircraft carriers, many countries want to go one step at a time, and there are many people who feel that China can complete such a model. But in fact, such a view is more one-sided. China in the process of development also need to carry out a variety of adjustments, although China now has a certain advantage. But in the nuclear reactor is still defective, and nuclear-powered aircraft carriers have more aspects of the use. Want to have an advantage in this area then also need to carry out more some of the support? The development of the Type 003 aircraft carrier has given everyone a certain understanding of China's overall aircraft carrier manufacturing although it is not the much-anticipated nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, but after all, with this advantage of development, but also let everyone have more expectations. Although it is said that China has the development and construction of nuclear submarines and aircraft carriers' overall manufacturing technology, but want to put it together to operate as a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, then the defect are still relatively large. Key technology China has not yet reached such a breakthrough, so you want to have better development also need a longer time to support. Key technology is difficult to break through this as China must do to change. And now about some of the use of nuclear reactors. China has also begun to make progress in some civilian aspects. In this development process, I believe there will be more technological progress. And in the process of such civil development field value gradually continued. 
I believe it will also bring more expectations and advantages to China's development. Nuclear-powered aircraft carriers need you to be more technical support and more technological research and development in the development of the industry. No country dares to say that they have the most advantage and therefore want to have more development possibilities, but also only to continue to do the promotion want to complete the nuclear-powered aircraft carriers need to do more experiments in the nuclear reaction test. After the safety aspects of the guarantee can be used, this is why the nuclear-powered aircraft carrier manufacturing is not possible in one step to the reason.